All right, Star Citizen. We are officially in the first day of the expo, IAE, uh, Intergalactic Something Something Expo 2951. So let's go check it out. Get a little t shirt shop here. Get different brands of apparel, hats, t shirts. And I think there's one on the other side, yep, for some of the other brands. Okay, but let's just go and take the elevator and get in the first day of the show. Graham and theater here. I guess I could have gone the other way. That would be faster. Something either blew up or the ship just took off. you with oh even healthy snacks for that all right let's see what we got here. Manufacturers and ships on display the all new seeking a way to protect their home and loved ones during these uncertain times. And Valero Space has been a strong ally in this endeavor, creating civilian versions of their popular military craft, like the Hornet F-7C, to protect you and the ones you care about. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, I think this is a C-A-X, yep. The Expedition version, which has guns more guns in the regular version. And a flashlight to see here. So this is actually a pretty useful little ship. It's got room for, I think, either four or six cargo right along here. It has two seats. I wonder if I can just sit in here and turn the lights on. The lights should be on. For everybody in this boat. Online. Okay. All right. So. Nope. Lights are not on. Oh well. I have to use a flashlight. Anyway, this is one of the cheapest ships, and it's actually one of the most useful uh, for quick running about. But for some reason, not a whole lot of people. Yeah, I think that's about four cargo. Not a whole lot of people get it initially. I think mostly because it doesn't look like a fighter. But it is a cute little ship with foldable wings, room for three people, four cargo, and it has four guns on it. So 
Not bad at all. And this ship, the C 8X Spices, fits into this ship, which is the Car Whoa. Can't get there from here, which is the Carrick, which is the exploration ship Attention of the game. So let's go check that out. God, if they don't have the lights on, this is gonna, gonna be a lot worse with just the flashlight. I would have assumed they turned the lights on everywhere, not just the mood lighting they have. So you have a nice loading area. This can be used for cargo, or it can actually have a vehicle that is in here. Uh, well, let's do raise the ramp, don't need to do that. So let's walk through the first floor. We have what is this docking collar? Okay, let's take a look here. So this would actually let you dock it to a station or another ship. And right across from here is an elevator. It's called the elevator. Oh, and then we can go through here. These are cargo storage areas. And they're separated from each other carry multiple types of cargo. You can also go down to the actual storage area. Not really a big reason to walk around in here, but you could if you wanted to. Uh, go back to the catwalk. Another cargo storage. And now we're through to the other end of the ship. If you remember, we walked in the front of the ship. This is on the very back. We have the half turret, which is, I believe, underneath the ship. Yep, that goes down. Walk around the other side. We have some gun racks here. We have escape pods over here. We have an elevator, and that's in the middle. This is the door we came in through. This goes to the storage area. Uh, okay, so another weapons locker here. Okay, there we go. This one must close as well then. Yep. So, closing weapons lockers, that's good. Now, if we get the elevator... This is one of two elevators aboard the ship. So, we are in the sub-deck, I think, right now. the elevator not work? The elevator may not work. Habitation deck. Okay, elevator works, but I also am prompted to buy the ship, which I don't need to because I already have it. So this is the... that we were in the sub-deck. This is the medical bay here in the middle that we're walking around. patient beds that are for recovery, doctor's office right here, A variety of tools, oxygen storage, syringes, gloves, all the usual stuff. We have a storage room, some refrigerated products, and then we have the medical treatment room, we have another bed. This room, a uh, patient can have injuries fixed, cured, whatever you want to call it. So if I lay down here, hopefully we'll flip the screen. Okay, it's raising the bed and then flipping the screen for me. So I can set my regeneration for inside the ship. I can look at the medical care in there, or I can get out. Uh, I think I can also, yeah, I'd be able to set my regeneration from here as well. So this ship essentially has a miniature hospital. 
which is a, a very rare thing in the ships. If I go back this way, it's just a hallway and that back down, leading back to the elevator that we got out of. So both of these hallways are symmetric and both lead to the same place. Alright, so and this is the second elevator you'll notice. It's odd, but it'll actually go forward. You can see the mess hall. Go walk in here. Got a little kitchen. Uh, keep carrying clean. We have some food storage. You can see we easily hold six people at a time in here, and with multiple crew ships, we can hold more of that. Crew quarters, really, it's the wreck area. Go here, and you can see there are windows out of here. Table and then no, let us go that way. Uh, going this way, we have the crew quarters with lockers for personal storage. We have bunk beds here, bunk beds there. station right here. Then through the command station. And it looks like the power is disabled. All systems online. Alright, so it is talking to us but it's not displaying anything on this way. But this is typically where I would fly the ship from because you have great visibility all the way around. Now we can set back on this floor. This is the third floor. We have more escape pods, another bulkhead, and then here we have a couple of specialty rooms. We have a repair room or a shop for doing 3D printing of components or repairing of components. And then right across from that, we have the drone bay. Sit in this drone control chair and be able to fly or pilot these drones. These are two drones next to each other. Here's the second control chair. So these can be used for exploration. For actually, the drones technically are not here. They're inside there and they're currently not loaded. These are the storage bays that go right out to the outside. The door would open and the drone would fly out of there. Uh, we also have some gantries here that would be able to 
if this the back of this open up to pick up the drone or load a different drone and obviously the drones are too heavy to hold by humans. There's that same elevator that we called earlier, and this brings us to the uh, the ship cargo ship storage bay. I don't even know what you call this area. It's essentially an enclosed landing bay for that small craft that I showed at the beginning of the video, and that can be closed off so that the ship is fully encompassed and with an atmosphere. Here we can walk around it, windows all around, and if that ship was here, we can go into the hangar bay and be able to enter that ship, open up the roof, and then fly up directly out of here. Now if we work further back, get some storage, and then here is the one of the turrets. This ship has two of these remote turrets. And let's see if I can enter this or not. Yes, I can. And this turret moves away slightly from the ship to give better control. There we go. Just moved out a little bit. Now, if I if I was to power it on, uh, there's a power button. There we go. Oh, like everything else, can't power it on, the battery's dead. So, but you can see there's, this thing will move front, side, or back in a pretty good arc. You have decent stability. And if I hit the button to leave here, you'll see that we will move back and spin around be able to re-enter the ship. And there's one just like this on the other side as well. This goes back to engineering. Uh, sorry, fifth elevator. The ship has five elevators. <laughs> Keep finding more and more elevators. So this is engineering. You can climb down the ladder. Uh, these are the ship's engines. You can see they're massive. You can take the elevator down. Well, this time it didn't ask me if I wanted to buy it. That's cool. And you have different components here. Radar access, fuel generator access, fuel generator, and these should be openable. Yeah. And this ship has replaceable components so that you can upgrade to uh, higher quality components if you have the money to do so. I don't know what this is, but it's something. It's obviously a replaceable ship component. All right, um, this goes back to the floor we were already on. Oh, no, it doesn't. This is a separate section. So there's another component right there. This is a fuel tank. Okay, so this is fuel tank access. The uh, ship has dual fuel tanks, so there should be one on the other side. Open the door. Yeah, this would be the second fuel tank in here. And there it is. Now let's go back up, up to the third floor that we were on. And we can exit here, making a full circle around the outside of the ship. Here we have an enclosed Radiation material work area. Oh, that's nice. Uh, an enclosed engineering station. If you're lost as to where you are in the ship, don't worry. The ship is easy to get lost. This is the other starboard turret, the other turret uh, that you saw on the port side. And we're back at the elevator. Now, there is one more level on this ship. So this was the technical deck. We're going to go up to the cartography deck. There we go. Now, oh, and I 
exit out here. So this is the cartography room, which shows you a map of the current solar system and presumably lets you see and plot things. Although I will say I think it's just a moving animation. I don't think you actually use it for anything in the game right now. Eventually, I think the plan is for this to actually become a useful station. Yeah, there's nothing to turn on right now. But in the... Oh, maybe there is. Nope, there isn't. I'm just standing here. I'm not actually doing anything. But in the future, you would be able to do something. What is this? It's not anything. Uh, and here we have... So this is... Oh, okay. We have an escape pod. And this goes around the outside to the airlock. Alright, and now we're in the airlock. There's the elevator that we came up on. Two ways to get to the airlock. Dual doors to everything may seem a bit of a waste, but in reality, in a ship this size, there could be emergencies that prevent you from being able to go one way. So having two paths to get to almost anywhere in the ship is very useful. And this, of course, is an outside door on the very top of the ship on the fourth level. 